that one there, that one there. Okay, we'll see how many off. peanuts find us again. Okay. Are you but you going to be able to feed the audio through though, Tim Timbo as well? But well, that's, that's what, what Timbo's Tim so... working on. Oh. Got just got to come through his mic can you, settings. Can you hear that? No. No, no, not at all. No. Okay. Nothing. Hang on a sec, then. It might only work when you share. You, I know, you... I've got a... No, no, if you can't hear it, then it's not going to work. Oh, okay. Because I'm, okay. I'm using my mic now, so right. if I have it come through the OBS mm -hmm. mic, you should hear it. Um, I'll just try... I thought Zoom could do um, audio in, audio from an app into into Zoom anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it should it shouldn't be a problem if you if you share and play, it should give us the audio anyhow. I thought they fixed that. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, could, because it's receiving my it's receiving my audio through my OBS. That's how I've set it up. So it's at my end. Not a Zoom send. Yeah, yeah, but I thought I thought when you shared an application with Zoom, Zoom also grabbed the application's oh, audio. If I if I shared the application, uh, yes, I don't know if you'd hear me though. Probably. Yeah, that wouldn't, that wouldn't matter. No, <laughs> not to some that people. Wasn't nice, Terry. <laughs> Well, we only want to hear the video, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what is really weird. I've lived here for six years, now, over six years now. I just got a letter yesterday from New Zealand. Yeah. New Zealand. For the oh, right. new, from New Zealand for the previous tenants. Ah, oh, huh. okay. How long have you been there for, Alan? Six years. Uh, I moved in... Um, Half term, February half term in 2016. Oh, that's about, yeah, it's about the same amount of time that I've, I've been living here as well. And I still get mail for pre previous tenants. Even though I returned to sender, I still get mail mm. from previous tenants. So Mr. Gonzalez or something. Gonzalez was Mexican. Oh. I think he was a previous one. Yeah, I, I still do. I, yeah, there's no, there's there's no return address on this one for some reason. Uh, yeah, uh, well, I'm lucky enough. Mostly they're business letters, and they always put their return address on there, don't they? So I just bung it back in a post and return to send. Sometimes it will take me a few months to send it back, but I still send it back. <laughs> it sits sits by the back door, sits by the front door for a while before we can be bothered to actually put it through the letterbox that we walk past every day. <laughs> All right, here we go, Timbo. Let, let me let me push. Let me push play and we'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah, press play, Timber. Tell me if you can hear it. No. No. But I hear a slight. Can you? Are you able to turn it up? There is is a bit there. No, I can't hear, hear anything. It. No. 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 So they were sharing straight through Zoom, so you couldn't hear. Oh, okay. It, so. No. Audio don't work then. So. And I need to get an audio through my mic. But mind you, if Timbo, if you if you left if you left that up and Terry just fed the audio uh, the audio through as normal, would it sync or would it be out of sync? No, you'd have no to idea. yeah, you'd have to play at the same time, yeah. It'd be out of sync. So you oh, right, okay. yeah, oh, you'd, oh, oh yeah, to get it to get it to be exactly in sync it'd be in Impossible. Yeah, it'd be yeah, it would be difficult. No, of course it would, because you have to press play exactly the right time. Yeah, right? exactly. No, <laughs> no I see what you mean. Yeah, it's meant to be this beta. Let me try this beta one out. It reckons if I do this one, that one. Let me try this out. Let's see if this works. You need to use dark things. Push Remember. play. Can you hear that? No. No, nothing. Which oh, course is okay, a good thing when it comes to lending. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. It's <laughs> so like. Right. Oh, 
I wouldn't necessarily say not hearing is good, yeah, you know, bad. I don't know of any way you can feed it through other than using a separate sound thing to feed the to link them all together. I didn't think OBS was able to do that. Oh, it has it. Because the only option OBS gives you is in audio. It's desktop audio, auxiliary mics. It's it's showing in my OBS. It's just not coming out. That's all. Uh, so I'm just trying to work out why. Well, what are you telling Zoom to to have linked? My it's using my um virtual camera. Okay. That's not, can no you different. tell? Uh, can you tell Zoom to use the uh, virtual camera microphone? Yeah, it is. But let me just try something here. <laughs> tell me if you hear Carl anything. I'll just fill around for that. And you crash. <laughs> Zoom, go on. You can't hear anything, of course. Mm. Oh, come on. You'll be yeah. the you'll be the second person to know when, if we hear it. Yes. You don't want to see that. Where's it gone? Go back, go back, go back. Did you break it? No, no, I just went to the wrong thing. Okay. I'm just trying to get... Um... Oh, it's over there. No wonder I couldn't I put it over on the other <laughs> screen. Um... <laughs> Let's see. Look fine. Zeblon said, okay, we're starting from all over from the top. Because I don't remember all the dumb shit I said. <laughs> you keep playing Lindsay's gonna crash again. No, only when I share it to Zoom. Uh sounds better when you just blaze blame Lindsay instead of me, actually. I don't think you're going to succeed with this. Some weird reason. No, we're kind of, we're kind of kind of wasting time, really, aren't we? We're kind of using up time of the show. It's like I think it's better just to go back to where you're doing before. We just have to listen through uh, your audio feed and watch the. Uh, and then just live watch feed. the delayed on the YouTube. It, yeah, yeah. I mean, with Lindsay, it doesn't really matter, but you know. I mean, you could always like play to... the video yourself at the same time as I press play, and that way you can keep up with the images. With the sound. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't really matter with Lindsay, does it? But if you're playing some like blues video when he's uh, hmm. explaining um, stuff, then uh, yeah, it's a different story. Yeah, if there's visuals that go with the sound, that's that's when it's more important. Well, Lindsay has visuals that go with sound, but they don't mean anything. Yeah, they, don't, they don't mean anything anyway. <laughs> no. Well, you keep playing around with that. And I'll um, grab Lindsay again. Anyone remember where we were up to? Oh, I was, I don't know, a couple of minutes in.
I know he was on his phone sharing a video. Yeah, it's about about there ish, I think. Oh no, that's that's Timbo's. Yeah, about there. Yeah, yeah. it's about 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 yeah about the point where he's sharing his video sharing the can I, can, phone. Can I share what Timbo does for his background? Is that possible? What do you mean? You know how Timbo's sharing his desktop like he's doing with the, what he's doing there. Yeah, but like you said before, you'd still have to press play at exactly the same time to make. It yeah, I know, but at least it's giving you an idea of what. Well, we could we could try it. Go with three, two, one, but you'd have to both set your. No, no, I'm talking about me. I, am I able to do what? Put that on the virtual camera thing for my background. Play, have a video going. I don't know, but let's see how that's going to be a benefit. Yeah, you, can put, you can put anything on your virtual background, including a video. Yeah, that's that's what I was do, wondering. But... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying you can't do it, but I'm just saying, how is it going to benefit oh, you, though? No, it, no, because you're streaming, aren't you, Terry? That's, that's the problem. So, you, you, can, you can't... I don't think it would work with the virtual camera while you're actually streaming. Mm. Because, obviously... Uh, whatever it is you're streaming is what will be the virtual. Oh, okay. It wouldn't come through as the OBS virtual camera? Oh, yeah. If you put virtual OBS virtual camera, we can watch it on you because we'll, be we'll be seeing the stream, won't we? As it's going to YouTube. So it'll be the correct time for us. All right. And we'll still hear the audio. Like that. Yeah. So my, it's back to front for me, but I don't know what it's like for you. Oh, it's, it's right around right for us. That's not a problem. Okay. You want to try that? We go. can. But the only other, the first thing we're going to find out is if we got sound. So here, here we go. But there's a multitude. Every every man Yay! has his own arc of horizon. Sound has his own celestial image from north to south. So that's working fine for years. Yeah, yeah, we can hear it. Yeah. But how how are you going to feed that back to the your audience though? That's going there now. Oh yes, yeah, so it is. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Can they hear That's it? That's his meridian. Yeah, yeah, they can hear it. Inside his arc. Oh, there you mm. go. This is it here. It's 180 degrees, just as the Earth has one from there, centre Arctic to the south, a meridian, 180 degrees. On Earth, you've got it. You've got the sun and that tropical gap in the middle. Well, man is the sun and his arc. He's in the middle. He's always zenith, 90 degrees to there. Now, do I show you that video? The flat Earth video? Um, I think I did. I've done this twice, so I better get, get back to kids. Uh, you've seen that. Go and watch that um, Celestial Navigation video. So, <clears throat> basically our model is you're at Zenith, you're taking a reading from the horizon up to there. Or you're using your sextant and bringing the sun down to the horizon. There's a lot of calculations involved. We'll put all that aside. They use, it's all more about the, the Sailor's Almanac or whatever they call it. Um, but it's basically this, this bit here you're looking for. So they give you the GP of that. I missed the one where Zebulon said, just play it and the panel can take turn doing Lindsay's voiceover. <laughs> it's exciting <laughs> at that exact precise time of the day. This angle here, so we'll do this, this point here to there. But then they want to know this because that's, mm. the, that's the bit that determines where you are to that GP of that celestial body. It says the sun. So... What have we got here? Actual zenith distance is distance away from the GP of the celestial body. So they down their spinning ball model, they're calling this the zenith distance. Okay? So they're working on this being directly overhead or whatever. But your that your your zenith directly overhead, and that's the point you're looking for. In the spinning ball model, this is what they work on. 
So look at that. You still have the arc, the dome, the uh, dome overhead. We've got that in our flat earth system. Uh, a celestial object directly overhead. Below is GP. It used to be known as GP, ground position, but now they've changed it. GP, ground position, is now geographic position. I think that was right this time, <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, now, Greenwich Hour Angle. What was that, Mumbo Jumbo? I don't know. He said we changed ground position to to what geographical? <laughs> what? <laughs> Find it slightly. I'm curious now. <laughs> this is this is Greenwich Hour angle when they use their globe bottle. Is around here, where you are from the Greenwich Hour. Now this what? this point here <laughs> is basically right around the. The top of the dome, you can say. Yeah, that's this it. This is just a slice of the dome. It's 360 degrees all around Come man. Again? There's a rise and it's 360 degrees all around the right? So out in the ocean, because it's swinging around you like that, it looks like there's a slight curve because it's obviously round on its flat plane, isn't it? It's the lateral curvature. There's no spherical curvature over the horizon. That's lateral total BS. Curvature. That's just going outside okay. your perspective. Line of sight. But you can all bring it back with a telescope, can't you? So this, this around uh, here... No. Is, uh, yeah, is right, what Euclid was using as um, describing as infinity. Because this point here can go right round. That, that line can go right round inf infinitely, anywhere around a circle. And so again, this, this point here, go all the way around your arc of horizon. It's infinity, wherever it can be anywhere around that dome. That's your shot. It had nothing to do with parallel lines. That was, a, that was different. That was not what he was talking about here in these five postulates. So, you know, on the globe, unless that's drawing all these silly curves and all that and getting right into it, spending a whole hour when you can just describe it here within like 15, 20 minutes. Okay? So you determine that spot. You found that spot because you've calculated this angle here with the 60 nautical miles You're using the almanac calculations. So it's basically given you a point where you are somewhere around that dot, that point, that GP point. It's a circle, you create a circle. So you're anywhere around that circle. But then you just go on to, to do more of those shots and it, it just creates more circles and you get closer and closer to you find out where you are or where you're going. But we'll just run over some terms here. What have we got? This is not the dome of the earth. It is every man's arc of horizon. His own personal dome of perspective. Personal Infinity of Euclid's two straight lines. Yeah, okay, there's one, and the other one's around the lateral, around the horizon. Uh, circle of position for a line of position. There's your circle of position. You're somewhere around there with your first reading. Declination is latitude. Finding your latitude outward from the centre of the Earth, depending on which hemisphere you're in, north or south of the equator. You'll know that before you even leave home. <laughs> Zero being at the equinox, depends on the time of season. So you obviously know what season you're in as well. And then seasons determine the angle of the sun and all that. Uh, like, I've drawn it here, like this going down and out is our southern summer, December solstice in the southern hemisphere, up and at the sun coming up and in, is our winter. That's just the southern hemisphere. Or you can flip it around the other way and work it with the northern hemisphere. What have I got here? Uh, created angle on the globe, L -O -L -O -L. elevated pole, elevated pole, closest to your ship. That's the point up here, your zenith. They got all these, just go on and on about all the garbage. It's real basic when you come to this model. So that's what they've created over here. They draw this curving, flipping line here, but no, it's just that straight above you, zenith. Greenwich hour angle in the Sailor's Almanac. Uh, longitude can be east or west of Greenwich. Zero degrees. Greenwich is zero degrees. If you say zero degrees, it can be Don't know, Carl. latitude, longitude. I'm not a flat earther. It can be east no, or west no of idea. Greenwich. But um, what do they call it? Uh, Greenwich hour angle is only west of Greenwich. Why? Probably don't need to explain on this if you go and watch the video, but you just try and think when okay. you watch it how it can all be brought back to this simple model here. What okay. Uh, dead reckoning, value and calculations, you'll have an idea of where you are to start with, that's your dead reckoning. Uh, local hour of angle. 
Uh, lambda is your latitude position from Greenwich. Yeah, so I'm going to have to do just one specifically on flat earth alone. There's some globe morons out there think we can't do it. And he's offering me a thousand dollars. If you offered more, I would have done it by now. Uh, so what have we got here? You can offer even more than a thousand dollars, you still wouldn't be so able to do it. You've got all these calculations yes, to yes, take so you hasn't done it yet. as well. Why hasn't yeah. he done it yet? Then? So you've got your <laughs> angle. Just that and simple. you've got the index do error, which is on your sextant. There could be an error in there. You've got the dip height of line. Could be a half a million, wouldn't matter. Above the water level. Nah. You could be right up here on the top of the boat. You've got to bring everything back down to the horizon. Height observed. So it depends on the star or the sun you're observing. All these calculations come into it and will get reduced to common denominator. Um, so if you bring the sun back down to the horizon with your sextant, it's determining whether you're on top of the line, horizon line, or below the horizon line. So you have to make some calculations for that because it's referring to the center of the sun, not the bottom or the top. There's calculations there. Uh, feed the book all the information or you do it manually yourself. So in this video, he's basically, he's avoiding anything to do with the flat earth. He's constantly saying, but it's not flat. You know, they have to say all this. So they're trying to, they're trying to get you to avoid thinking and, and everything will be worked out in the manual. It's already done in the manual, okay? <laughs> An hour of bullshit to only come back to Euclidean geometry, not non-Euclidean geometry, BS. Now this is the good one, okay? There's a correction in the sun's position. When you calculate everything, calculated everything let's say you've shot the sun there. But when you use the book, give all the calculations, it comes back with a sun position that's up here. This is height observed. And this other one is the computerized angle. Why the difference? Angle. Because of the Earth's curving magnetic field, the sun follows. This is a good one. Right. You see, if you've seen earlier videos, this is the northern hemisphere. Uh -huh. This is the southern hemisphere. This is the three to two ratio, okay? The magnetic cycle of Earth. It's bigger out here, smaller there. That's two, that's three. Now, oh, come again. <laughs> what's happening? What? You might be out here, right? <laughs> You're going to be seeing the sun out here somewhere. I but way over in your horizon where you want to get to within celestial navigation, by the time you get there, you know, you've gone like this. this the sun is actually way over there. Because the sun actually is anywhere around here. Uh, that's, no? that's, the, no. that's the line that the sun drives <laughs> no. during the day. It's anywhere on that line. You can say the whole thing is lit up. But the, but the sun is in many places, what? but only seen in one. That's your arc of horizon. Your pupil spots only one within your arc dome, your arc of horizon. So you could be here, so you're seeing your sun within this region, but if you're going to be travelling way over there, look, look what you've done. The sun's, the sun's here. But this is what all these calculations work on. So when uh, you hear them, not how it what's works. his name, Simon, uh, that's, Simon, Do, that's... Bob the science guy on that talk about that sort of stuff. Yeah. Well, Bob the science guy, they just can't do understand all this stuff. Well, you know, there's the variance there. It's to do with the curving magnetic field. And this is where you get the 69 nautical miles involved. As I, have to, to tell Bob, I have to tell Bob that Lindsay's been watching. Because now we're using lasers, it's all 60 yeah. nautical miles. Because you're avoiding the curving of the magnetic field. But if you travel with a compass following the curving of the magnetic field, it starts becoming a 69 nautical miles. But there's a bit more to that. And that was just a quick video. To, to, to try and expose the BS of this whole model here. I hope you can figure it out. So how should we go with this rubbish? Oh, there, 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 there. You know, you put a straight line on the curve here, on the ball you're at. Right. But we bring all the calculations back to the centre of the spinning ball. Look at this over here. What a joke. No, look at it. Flat horizon. There's your arc. 